News. Well, the number of new diabetes cases among U.S. adults keeps falling even as obesity rates climb. And health officials, they're not sure why. Earlier research spotted a decline, and the new report shows it's been going on for close to a decade. But health officials, they're not celebrating. Logan Burns has more on that. Logan? Anna Sandra, the new federal data, which was just released, found the number of new diabetes diagnoses fell to about 1.3 million in 2017, down from 1.7 million in 2009. So joining me now to discuss the findings is an endocrinologist from Scripps Clinic, Dr. Athena Philosomikas. Uh, doctor, thanks for coming on the program. Hi, Logan. Thanks for being so here. So people hear these numbers, right? We've got the diabetes cases falling, obesity climbing, and it doesn't seem to really make sense. Have you made any sense of it? Yeah, so it, I completely agree. It's, it's very confusing. Yeah. Um, for a while, the rates were climbing, and that was probably due to a couple different things. Um, back in 1997, the way we diagnosed diabetes changed. Uh, the numbers were lowered, and more people were being diagnosed. So for a while, the rates were uh, going up. Okay. Um, additionally, there was obesity, and that also led to uh, increase. And then age, as people age and, and more people were living longer, mm -hmm. the rates of diabetes were going up. But at some point, you saturate uh, the number of new people, and it begins to plateau. Okay. And that's exactly what happened in this study. You see a plateau then for the subsequent eight years or so, and now all of a sudden, you see a decline. So why? Right. I understand that there, there was um, some more doctors diagnosing pre-diabetes, which wasn't really being done uh, in the past. And so what you might have is somebody gets diagnosed as pre-diabetic, and so then they change their and then they never get diabetes, and that might be part of the reason. Absolutely. Yeah. That, so along with changing when we diagnose diabetes, there was this new category of pre-diabetes that was created, and absolutely along with that were a lot of recommendations. How do you intervene earlier to prevent diabetes? And the Diabetes Prevention Program was developed, which was part of the CDC's um, big push to try and, and uh, implement that, that prevention, and it it's possible it has worked. Yeah. All of this is an association, so we can't say for sure, um, but it is possible. We are at Scripps, one of the few places that has a, a CDC certified program that was just started for the Diabetes Prevention Program. Um, so lifestyle intervention can affect it. Like what? Give us some examples of what you should be doing so that hopefully you don't get diabetes. Mm -hmm. Probably the biggest thing is portion control. Mm -hmm. So reduce your portions. If that can then lead to a decline in weight, a 5% decline in weight is enough to actually prevent 50 to 60% of your chances of getting wow. diabetes, which is significant. What has to happen for somebody to get diabetes? Usually it is associated with a, a gain in weight. Okay. So um, is you it have partially to have, hereditary? Do you have to have this gene? Absolutely. Yeah. So both type one and type two diabetes uh, comes from having a genetic predisposition to it, but okay. certain triggers can then turn them on, and increasing weight can do that. Um, what about all, sugar? I mean, is that a problem? Sugar per se does not cause diabetes, but if you eat enough sugar and enough calories that, that lead to becoming overweight or obese, mm -hmm. then yes, it can. But it could be fat, it could be protein, it could be any of those things that contribute. So um, there was one other additional factor that we, we did over the last few years, which is uh, adding metformin, which is a medication yeah. for prediabetes. Um, it's not a routine recommendation, but we know many physicians have been doing that, and that can certainly lead to a decline as well. Very interesting. Dr. Athena Philosomikas from uh, Scripps Clinic. Thanks, doctor. Yeah. Appreciate it. We'll all be eating more salads, hopefully. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Drink your water. Stay away from the sodas. That uh, sounds good. Sandra.